Genomic DNA, or the genome, is the building block of all living organisms. The genome not only defines your appearance, but also many cellular processes. Changes in the building blocks of the genome represent mutations, which in some instances have no physiological effects, but in other cases give rise to diseases. What if we could repair the genome by specifically targeting such mutations? This is possible with CRISPR-Cas9. This new genome editing technology has generated a lot of excitement in the scientific community because it is faster, cheaper, more accurate and efficient than other existing genome editing methods. So how exactly does the CRISPR-Cas9 technology work? CRISPR are natural short gene sequences in bacteria, which act as an adaptive immune response. When bacteria detect the presence of a virus genome, they produce an RNA sequence, which matches a piece of the invading virus genome. This piece of RNA sequence will be flanked by CRISPR to finally form a complex with the protein Cas9. Next time the bacterial CRISPR-Cas9 complex encounters a viral infection, it will recognize the invading virus sequence. Cas9 will unzip the viral genome and cut it, so it becomes inactive. CRISPR-Cas9, therefore, represents a natural defense mechanism against viral infections. In 2012, researchers in the USA discovered that this mechanism works not only in bacteria, but in all organisms. CRISPR-Cas9 can be used to precisely cut and alter the DNA sequence at a chosen location. The CRISPR-Cas9 complex with its target sequence can be artificially generated in the laboratory with improved specificity compared with previously known techniques. This artificially designed complex can be engineered to find the matching counterpiece in the cell to specifically bind in the area that is going to be modified. The modification can be used to turn on or turn off genes, allowing the correction and modification of errors in the human genome. This kind of precise gene editing opens a whole new field of therapeutic possibilities and could turn a disease-causing mutation into a healthy version of the gene. Currently, most research into genome editing is done to understand diseases using cells and animal models. The CRISPR revolution, however, could be used therapeutically in humans, as it may offer a broad range of therapies for diseases, including single gene disorders like sickle cell disease. The US Food and Drug Administration has only in March this year approved the first tests in humans suffering from sickle cell disease. This is just the beginning of a therapeutic milestone. If you're interested in getting more insights on genome editing and the CRISPR-Cas9 potential in kidney diseases, join the presentation of Fyodor Ulnov, Mike Curtis and Fiona Loud in their session, CRISPR in the Renal Arena, Breaking Down Hurdles to New Medicines and Global Transplant Availability at the LIFE 2021 Nephrology Congress.